started. You know what time it is. It's time to shout out super duper loud. Hey, friends, because we're all friends here. So on the count of three, I want to hear you. Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, friends. Whoa, my, you are getting so good at this. Oh, I love it. You know, this is just the best spending time with you. Yeah, when we're together, we get to listen to an amazing Bible story and we get to dance to some rock and music. <laughs> but before we do any of that, we get to have fun together. That's right. So there is a very special day coming up. And it's a day all about telling your family and your friends how much you love them. Do you know what day I'm talking about? Yes, it's Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. Yeah, so I want to get ready for Valentine's Day. So I had an idea. Do you think you could help me decorate? Yeah, we can get this place all ready to celebrate love. <laughs> so do you think you can help me with that? Okay, perfect. I was hoping you would say that. All right, so let's see. How can we How can we decorate? What kind of things do you think we can use? Like, uh, it's all about love. And love is kind of like hearts. <gasps> I got it! Okay, how about you make a heart with your hands? Yeah, if you kind of make a shape like this, you see it? Yeah, and then a shape like this. Look at that! You have a heart. Yeah, can I see all of your hearts? Wow, those are great. Okay, so let me show you something so cool. All you gotta do to decorate is just throw your heart. Look, there it is. Oh, this is so cool. Let me try it again. Throw your heart. Oh, I can't believe it. This is amazing. Hey, can you throw a heart right here? Let's keep throwing some hearts. I need your help. Throw, throw. Oh, look, let's hop over here and throw some hearts. Hop, hop, hop. Throw some hearts. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. I can't even believe it. Hop, hop, hop. Throw some hearts. Throw some hearts. What about walking backwards and throwing some hearts? Walking, 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 walking. <laughs> let's, let's do some back here. Hearts everywhere. Hearts everywhere. I threw some hearts over here and some hearts over there. Some hearts on my shoe and some hearts in the air. <laughs> this is amazing. Friends, look how incredible this place looks. You did so great helping me decorate. Oh, but I just thought of one more thing. Oh, this is gonna be really special. Can you give yourself a big hug? Yeah, oh, it feels so nice. Give yourself a big hug, and then I want you to throw the most ginormous heart. Oh boy, all right, so hug really tight, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And one, two, three! Wow, this place is incredible! Friends, I think I am definitely ready for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for helping me. Oh, and now it's time for the moment we've all been waiting for. We get to listen to an amazing Bible story just for you and just for me too. I can't wait. So take a seat and get all comfy and let me see your hands and open and shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hey boys and girls, my name's Sabrina and I'm so excited to tell you something amazing that I read in my favorite book. Do you know what book I'm talking about? It's the Bible, yeah. And the Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. Well, I was reading in my Bible about a time when Jesus went on a trip. During that trip, Jesus showed a lot of people just how much he loves everyone. <sighs> I just love going on trips. Hey, what if we pretend to go on a trip together? 
we could follow along and see what Jesus does. Okay, so Jesus set out on a trip with his friends to a place called Samaria. Samaria was really far away. There were new and different people there. And some people wouldn't go to Samaria because they didn't want to meet new and different people. But remember, everyone is different. And that's what makes us special. Some of us are short. Some of us are tall, some of us have black hair, and some of us have red hair. God made everyone, and we're all important to him. Jesus knew that. That's why Jesus wanted to go to Samaria, because Jesus loves everyone. So Jesus and his friends decided to travel through Samaria. All right, stand up, and let's pretend to travel with Jesus. Stand up, and let's start walking. Jesus and his friends were walking and walking and walking, keep going. Walking and walking and walking. Phew, it's getting kind of hot out here in the desert. Okay, let's look to see if we're getting any closer to town. I think we're gonna need binoculars. Grab your pretend binoculars and let's see if we're getting close. Let's look over here. Do you see anything? No? Let's look that way. Anything yet? Still nothing. I guess we have more walking to do. Okay, let's keep walking. Jesus and his friends walked some more. And they walked some more. And they walked some more. And more. <sighs> Phew, I'm really getting tired. <laughs> Jesus and his friends were getting tired too. And they decided to stop. While his friends went to go get food, Jesus sat down next to a well. Hey, you can have a seat too, because you're not gonna wanna miss what happens next. While Jesus was sitting and resting, a woman came to get water from the well. And a well was where people would get their water. Yeah, it was like a hole in the ground, and they would have to use a bucket or something to scoop the water out. Jesus was not only tired, he was also really thirsty. So he turned to the woman and asked if she would get him some water from the well. The woman was so surprised. Show me your most surprised face. <gasps> wow, those are some really, really good surprise faces. That woman was so surprised because many people didn't like her and wouldn't talk to her. Do you think that Jesus was nice to the woman? Yeah, Jesus was very nice to her. He wanted her to know that he would always be her friend. He loved her because Jesus loves everyone. Hmm, so do you think Jesus loves mommies and daddies? Yes, Jesus loves everyone. What about teachers and doctors? Yes, Jesus loves everyone. Hmm, what about, oh, does Jesus love really tall people and really short people? Yes, Jesus loves everyone. That's right. Jesus wants all of us to know that he loves us and he'll always, always be our friend. Jesus loves everyone so, so, so much. It doesn't matter where we live or what we look like. He loves everyone. Let's pray and thank God for Jesus who loves everyone no matter what. If you're ready to pray, give me a big clap. Dear God, thank you for Jesus. And please help us to remember that he loves everyone, no matter where we live or what we look like. We love you so much, God. Amen. Wow, that was so amazing. I'm gonna remember all week long that Jesus loves everyone. And you can remember that too, that Jesus loves everyone. I'll see you later, friends. Bye. Oh, friends, that was an amazing Bible story and I loved listening to it with you. And now it is time to sing and dance to a super duper fun song. So get up on your feet and put on your dancing shoes and let's dance. Bye friends. Nothing's bigger than his love for me. Reaching further than the big blue sea. Even taller than the mountain peaks. Jesus loves me I can't hide no matter where I go From my backyard to somewhere unknown And he knows me from head to toe Jesus